Have you ever wondered how everything began? What was before the beginning? It's a puzzling thought, isn't it? It's even more intriguing when you think about the concept of absolute nothingness, a cosmic void, a blank canvas of reality. Yet this emptiness wasn't devoid of potential, it was teeming with it. This potential came to life through the magic of quantum fluctuations. Now don't let the term scare you off. Simply put, quantum fluctuations are tiny, random changes in energy that occur even in empty space. They're like the whispers of the universe, the soft murmur before the grand symphony begins. These fluctuations, these minute perturbations, played an instrumental role in setting the stage for the birth of the universe. They were like the musicians tuning their instruments before the grand concert begins, a prelude to the cosmos's epic narrative. From this emptiness, this seeming nothingness, the grand cosmic narrative was born. The universe's birth was not a silent affair, but a monumental explosion we call the Big Bang. The Big Bang, or as the Dutch would say, the Urknall theory, was not an explosion in space as one might imagine. No, it was an explosion of space itself, a rapid expansion that created the fabric of our cosmos. In those first fleeting moments, our universe was smaller than an atom, an incredibly dense and hot point of energy. But then, in less than a blink of an eye, space began to expand faster than the speed of light. This event, known as cosmic inflation, stretched the universe from subatomic size to something billions of miles across. Following this rapid inflation, the universe cooled down enough for the fundamental forces to go their separate ways. Gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces, these are the cosmic architects that began to sculpt the universe. As the universe continued to cool, particles of matter began to form. Quarks, the smallest particles we know, combined to create protons and neutrons. And when the universe was a mere three minutes old, these protons and neutrons began to fuse, forming the first atomic nuclei in a process called nucleosynthesis. The universe, once a simple point, had begun its complex evolution. It was no longer a featureless soup of energy, but a cosmic landscape where matter and forces worked in unison, setting the stage for the grand cosmic narrative that was yet to unfold. Stars, the maestros of the cosmos, took center stage. These celestial luminaries, the stellar composers, play a symphony of creation that echoes across the universe. But what is this cosmic melody they weave? It's the music of stellar nucleosynthesis, the birth, life, and death of stars. In the heart of a star, under immense pressure and heat, the simplest of elements, hydrogen, undergoes a transformation, a fusion, yielding helium and releasing energy. This energy, this radiant light, is the star's lifeblood, its heartbeat in the cosmic orchestra. As stars age, their symphony grows more complex. They begin to fuse heavier elements, helium into carbon, carbon into neon, and so on, until iron is forged in the star's heart. But iron, stubborn and unyielding, refuses to fuse. The star's symphony reaches a dramatic crescendo and then silence. The star's core collapses under its own weight, triggering a supernova, a celestial spectacle of unparalleled brilliance. And within this cataclysm, the final act of the star's symphony is played out. The extreme conditions catalyze the creation of elements heavier than iron, including those that make up our own bodies. Through their life and demise, stars weave the elemental fabric of our cosmos. They are the alchemists of the universe, transmuting simple elements into the complex tapestry of matter that surrounds us. So, the next time you gaze upon a star, remember, you're witnessing a stellar composer conducting the symphony of the cosmos. The universe's symphony reached a crescendo with the formation of galaxies. Amidst the cosmic murmur, gravity began its masterful choreography. Like a cosmic ballet, particles of matter started dancing to the rhythm of gravity, drawing closer and closer, swirling into a hypnotic galactic waltz. This gravitational pull, a cosmic force of attraction, shaped the galaxies. From spirals to ellipticals, and even the irregular galaxies that defy classification, each possesses its unique cosmic fingerprint etched by gravity's hand. Spirals with their majestic arms, ellipticals with their rounded contours, and the irregulars, the cosmic rebels, all stand as testament to the diversity engendered by gravity's dance. But galaxies are not static, they evolve over cosmic timescales. 
Born from the primordial matter of the early universe, galaxies grew and matured, their stars igniting and extinguishing, painting a dynamic canvas of light and shadow. Some galaxies collided and merged, their gravitational forces intertwining in a grand cosmic spectacle. Through these collisions and mergers, galaxies transformed, their shapes and sizes evolving in this celestial ballet. These colossal cosmic entities, galaxies, are more than just clusters of stars and cosmic dust. They are the grand stages where the cosmic drama unfolds. Each galaxy, a unique story. Each star, a unique character. Each planet, a unique scene. From the birth of stars to the creation of planets, galaxies are the cosmic theaters of the universe's grand narrative. These colossal cosmic entities, galaxies, are the grand stages where the cosmic drama unfolds. In the cosmic tapestry, planets and solar systems find their place. Imagine, if you will, a nebulous cloud, vast and swirling with dust and gas. This is the cradle of celestial bodies, a nursery for potential planets and solar systems. As the fabric of this cloud condenses under the relentless grip of gravity, a star is born, illuminating the surrounding darkness with its nascent light. Around this newly formed star, remnants of the nebulous cloud begin to coalesce. Dust particles collide, sticking together to form planetesimals. Over time, these planetesimals grow larger, their increased gravity pulling in more and more material. Eventually, they form protoplanets. The precursors to the planets we're familiar with today, these protoplanets continue to evolve, orbiting their parent star in an intricate dance. Some collide and merge, growing larger. Others are flung out of the system entirely, victims of gravitational slingshots. Over millions of years, a solar system forms a harmonious ensemble of planets around a central star. But the cosmic narrative doesn't end there. Each solar system continues to evolve. Planets cool, develop atmospheres, and perhaps under the right conditions, life may even take root. From dust and gas to intricate dances of celestial bodies, the universe continues its ever-evolving narrative.